Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for tuning in with me, Rogue FPV. I recently got the Diatone Mamba G4 Alpha All-in-One and spent a little time dialing in Alpha on my Armitan Beaver. I know some people had some questions about my board alignment and my motor mapping, so I thought I'd just do a video and review all my settings. By the end of this video, you'll have all of my settings from every Alpha screen as it relates to my Armitan Beaver's 5-inch setup. If you recently got the Diatone Mamba G4 Alpha All-in-One or are new to Alpha in general, this is the video for you. Before we jump in, I just quickly want to show you a little flight footage so you can see where my tune ended up. Before we dive in, I just quickly want to show you guys my setup here and how much room there is in the build deck. Armitan Beaver 5 inch, all up weight about 875 grams with a Hero 12, running the Waxnell Avatar VTX, ELRS receiver, and the Mamba G4 all in one. The motors I use are T Motor Pacer V3 1750 kV, and the props are always Gemfan 514333, what I like to call the perfect prop. Take notice, my all-in-one is mounted with the LiPo leads facing the front of the quad and my USB-C port is on the right-hand side. The all-in-one is meant to be mounted in the diamond configuration, but my orientation settings account for it being squared off and turned. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open the port and connect on up. PIDs tab. Here's my PIDs. As you guys know, PIDs are always kind of a work in progress, but here's where I've got it so far. Uh, these are a little bit extreme, but my beaver's about 875 grams with a 6S LiPo and a Hero 12 on it. So this is what's working for me so far. Rates tab. Here's my rates. 540 on pitch and roll, 680 on yaw. Uh, it did take me a while to get the Expo dialed in, but now that I've I played with it for a while and I got it dialed in, it's butter. Tuning tab. Here's everything in my tuning tab. I don't use presets at all, so I just, you know, I play with stuff until it looks good and I take advice from other people. So if I go too fast at any point for you guys, if you need to pause, pause wherever you need to pause. VTX setup. I don't use analog, so I don't do anything in this screen. But here's, you know, here's everything that is default in this screen. Uh, OSD setup, I'd rather show you my OSD here. I use flight controller text, messages, uh, battery voltage, link quality, RSSI, and flight timer. Flight controller setup, flight controller craft type, quad X. Prop direction, I like my props to go out. It gives you a nice graphic with a motor number order. And these little arrows show you the direction that the props are spinning. Flight controller orientation. My flight controller is not upside down, but again, I did mount mine with the LiPo leads facing the nose of my quad and the USB-C port on the right side. So my orientation is counterclockwise 90 degrees. If you guys mount your Mamba all-in-one the same way, counterclockwise 90 degrees is going to be the orientation that you're going to want. Once you guys save, it's still going to wig out because you haven't calibrated your accelerometer. So before you go and do anything else, make sure you go to your signals tab and scroll to the bottom and calibrate the accelerometer. After we go through all the other tabs, I'll go back and I'll show you guys how to do that. Peripheral connection serials. Uh, my MSB port 1 
is serial three. MSP port two is disabled. And my OSD type is HD 53 by 20. If you're unsure of your OSD, your OSD type, on this page and every other page, you can scroll to the bottom and it gives you a little explanation of what the settings are. So as an example, if you use uh, DJI 3 you'd want to set that to HD 30 by 16. If you use HD 0, you'd want to set that to HD 50 by 18. Walks now avatar um, and DJI 3 canvas mode is HD 53 by 20. If you are using DJI V1 with the WTF, um, you know, MSP, you'd want HD 60 by 22. I don't use uh, VTX serial. I don't use black box. I don't use GPS. Uh, VC sensor. These are all defaults. I don't mess with the voltage calibration. I don't, I don't mess, you know. The, no need to, right? It's, a, it's an all-in-one. <laughs> it should come set the right way. Go back. Uh, RGB color black. The Mamba all-in-one doesn't have any configurable LEDs like the FETTEC G4 does. So uh, as a result of that, the LED color does nothing in this menu. The RGB brightness also does nothing. I2C OLED. I don't use anything with I2C OLED. So disable by default, and I keep it disabled. Buzzer mode, I like my motors to buzz if I uh, have buzzer on a switch. I don't have an external buzzer. If you have an external buzzer, you'd want to set that to pad. Uh, I am not going to do a reset or go into the tools because that's not going to give us anything good. Uh, receiver. I always just set my receiver to auto. I use ELRS. It picks it up no problem. Uh, you can click in there and change if you're using something particular, if auto does not work for you. But autos always work for me on all the FedTech flight controllers that I've ever had and this G4 all-in-one. Uh, my channel map is always T-A-E-R. Uh, one thing I did change in here was the RC deadband. It was zero by default. I set it to 10. And uh, RC smoothing set to low. Uh, you can see I have my channels map for arm, buzzer, and turtle mode. And that's all I use. Battery setup. Cell voltage, yes. I do want the OSD to report individual cell voltage and not total battery voltage. I have my minimum cell voltage set to 3.5 volts. I always use a six cell count battery. And I want a two second delay after I reach 3.5 volts before the OSD warns me that my battery is low. I don't use any of the consumption warnings and, you know, I'm not flying long range with, with any of these setups. ESC and motor setup. ESC signal type. I'm using DSHOT 2400 with this all-in-one. It's been working great so far. Uh, prop direction. Again, my props always go out. Throttle values. Uh, take note, my min command is set to 1060 because I use idle up. Uh, by default, your min command will be 10,000. If you are going to use idle up, you just should be aware that you also need to set up a switch on your radio to support that. You can't just set your min command to 1060 and say, oh, I'm using idle up. Um, you'd be better off just keeping it to 1000 and using air mode. But I use idle up, you know, like I said, so this, this is my settings. ESC output map. I again don't use any of the presets. I just map these by hand. Motor one to motor one, motor two to motor three, motor three to motor four, motor four to motor two. Uh, that is mapped that way because I have turned my all in one and the lipo leads are facing the nose of my quad. If your orientation is not counterclockwise 90, just like mine, your motor mapping will be different. D-Shot Setup. If you do need to change the direction of any one of your motors, you can do that in here without having to go into BL Heli 32 to do that, which is nice. But you do need to plug in a LiPo and make sure your props are off before you do that. Motor Test. Uh, if you do need to do a motor test, you can spin them up to idle speed. Make sure, again, your props are off if you need to do that. 
I'm not using race wire. And info shows us that we are using a Mamba FC G4 firmware version 0.7.55. Now, I did tell you guys I was going to show you how to calibrate your accelerometer. Go over to the signals tab, scroll all the way to the very bottom. Make sure your quad is flat on the table with the nose of the quad facing away from you, just like when you look at this picture here, you should be looking at the back of your quad. Uh, go ahead and hit Calibrate Accelerometer, and let it do its thing for about 15 seconds. Once it's done, you should be able to tip the quad forward and see the back come up on the screen. You should be able to tip the quad to the right and see the left side rise. If you yaw to the left, you should see the graphic yaw to the left. If you've done all that and everything is responding properly, then you've set everything up fine and you're good to go. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you found this content helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more. If you guys have questions or ideas for future videos, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos in my Just the Tip playlist, filled with helpful tips and tricks on how to make your FPV easier.